And here's now more live pictures uh, from the worlds away across the cosmos. NASA's Perseverance rover has officially arrived on the red planet. The spacecraft uh, entered the Mars atmosphere, speeding at over 12,000 miles an hour. Perseverance had to slam on the brakes to land safely, so it is auto programmed to stop, drop, and rove. KTLA 5 Steve Cooch has a closer look at just what the rover went through. It all comes down to this. Entry, descent, and landing. A few tiny words for one tremendous feat. Entry, descent, and landing is often referred to as the seven minutes of terror. It is the shortest, but most critical and most dangerous phase of the entire mission. We call it a mission critical event. Entry, descent, and landing is all about getting it from the top of the Martian atmosphere to the ground safely. Easier said than done, because when Perseverance reaches the red planet, it's screaming. We go from 12,000 miles an hour down to about one mile an hour in uh, just a few minutes. There's a lot that the spacecraft has to go through autonomously to slam on the brakes in that, that short period of time. The first thing that happens is uh, we've been carrying something called the crew stage. It's a circular flying saucer uh, looking object. We let that go, we separate that. So first we'll use the atmosphere to slow down, streaking across the Martian sky, kind of like a meteor. But not only does Perseverance have to survive the intense heating and deceleration, but it also has to steer its way to the landing target using thrusters. We make these tiny little adjustments to make sure that we are staying on target. We'll slow down to about a thousand miles an hour, like an F-18 fighter jet. We'll deploy a giant 21 and a half meter parachute. Actually the largest supersonic planetary parachute that we've ever deployed on another planet. But that big parachute really isn't enough to slow Perseverance down for landing. In fact, she's still going at about as fast as a skydiver would be going if uh, you jumped out of a plane here on Earth. Hurtling towards the surface and headed into hazard. Jezero is the most dangerous landing site we've ever attempted to land at. This was a landing site that the Curiosity team considered landing in, but it was actually deemed too dangerous. But Perseverance is primed with a new program to pick where she wants to land. We have a new system called Terrain Relative Navigation. Basically, this rover flies with its eyes wide open. It has a map. Which allows us to basically make an autonomous decision on the spacecraft about where she wants to land. We can identify and avoid hazardous terrain. At just the right altitude, it's going to let go of the parachute and then fly on a uh, jetpack that we call the descent stage. Once we're in the area that we want to be in, it executes the sky crane maneuver. So the sky crane slowly lowers the rover down and then touches the rover down on its wheels on the surface of Mars. And the descent stage will fly away and our rover will be ready to go. But even sent back at the speed of light, that delicate data will be on a delay. We actually will not find out whether uh, Perseverance has made it or not until 11 minutes after it's actually happened. It takes over 11 minutes for signals to travel from Earth to Mars and from Mars to Earth. That's part of what makes these seven minutes really exciting is that the, the spacecraft has to do this portion of the mission entirely autonomously, entirely by itself. So there's no way we're gonna be able to remote control this. It's hands off. She has to fly herself. We're confident that uh, she's in the best position to succeed. And that success will be beaming back to Earth from cameras capturing the entire thing. We can see it in high definition and video. These simple little pictures that she takes uh, of her surroundings, but it's a really critical and really important and mind-blowingly simple like proof of life that she's alive, she landed the way we expected her to. So much riding on a rocket ship with all the world watching. There's a lot that has to go right. It is not easy. Success is not guaranteed. Mars gets a vote, and uh, there are many, many things that have to go right. It's going to be quite a day. Well, that was Steve Kuj reporting. Uh, these are live images here. You can see the, the crew there still at JPL performing the test. Uh, working to determine if Perseverance survived uh, exactly the landing on Mars. We know that it has touched uh, ground there on Mars, but of course they have to do a lot of the testing to make sure the cameras are working and that the tires are not flat, you know, all that stuff that scientists do. It's very exciting uh, to watch this, and we, of course, will be covering this throughout the entire day.